Добрый день, дорогие друзья. Разрешите приветствовать всех наших уважаемых спикеров, а также всех тех, кто нас сегодня смотрит на экспертной дискуссии, посвященной из самых разных стран подготовил вот эту книгу, которую я сейчас с большим удовольствием хочу продемонстрировать в эфире. Как вы обещали, к началу Гайдаровского форума она увидела свет и издана. Естественно, все получат свои авторские экземпляры. Мотором этого проекта со стороны президентской академии был Институт государственной службы и управления, который выполнил все свои обязательства, с чем я поздравляю и всех for this project and it has uh, fulfilled all its obligation. The book is there and I can, uh, my congratulations to everyone who participated in this project. And uh, today we are going to discuss the main uh, ideas of this expert report. And everyone who is uh, here today will have a chance to say a couple of words about the evolution of public administration and about uh, your own view on the присутствуют уважаемые ректоры президентских академий, которые принимают участие в дипломатическом форуме, а would be first, according to the alphabetical order, is the director of the Academy of Public Administration under the president of Kazakhstan. He is ready to talk to us. I'm very happy to give you the floor. Andre, um, I'm happy to see you here. Can you hear me? Can you see me well, dear colleagues? Uh, Yerlan, I do not hear you. Andre, I can hear you well. Then the floor is yours. Good day, dear colleagues. I'm very happy to see you. I, my congratulations to all the organizers. Uh, you've done a lot to prepare uh, this conference and this uh, book as well. We also participated in uh, compiling this report. It was very important for us to have this interim report uh, about our development. This year we will celebrate um, 20 years of independence. A lot has been done, but we are going to do even more. We understand that the world is changing and the Public Administration Academy should fit this new world. We should be able to give answer to all the challenges domestic and foreign challenges. It's very important to maintain good relations, share experiences, and that's a good idea to exchange uh, knowledge in uh, developing public administration. Our country is now transforming into the strategic uh, public administration apparatus. Recently, uh, we've had elections, um, elections um, for our legislative uh, body, our country. And tomorrow there will be the presentation from this uh, head of the state. And at the joint meeting, and by the end of January, we expect to have uh, the new structure of government and the new people in government. They will face new tasks. So, Andrei Markovich, we are ready to cooperate, and we are happy that uh, this forum is, is uh, happening despite all the quarantine measures. Of course. It's it would have been great to be with you now in Ranipa and uh, discuss uh, all the burning points with you face to face, but nevertheless, uh, so I'm ready to answer the questions after the 
discussion is closed. Thank you very much, Yerlan Konishevich. I should say that our esteemed directors uh, have uh, recorded their video messages for Gaidar Forum, and they offer their comments about uh, the publication we are discussing today. Of course, they are all published on the website of the forum, and we are very thankful to the colleagues. Before I go to the next speaker, I would like to articulate a number of points for voting. So in order to, at the end of, this, of the discussion, if we have some time left, we would ask our esteemed speakers to, to discuss the this voting. So three questions. First, uh, related to ratings, what uh, country rating listed, listed here is the best indicator of uh, high quality of public administration, ease of doing business, rating of global competitiveness, index for human development, and index of uh, perception of corruption. Question number two, what area of cooperation of uh, universities in post-Soviet countries specializing in talents preparation in public administration is the most promising of the listed here? So exchanging experience in professional and personal diagnostics uh, for talents, programs for improvement of qualification implemented in module format uh, with uh, an opportunity to uh, take some of the models in higher level modules and also preparation of a Master of Public Administration and Executive Public Administration, Master's programs in preparing in the courses like Public and Municipal Management and Bachelor, Bachelor, Bachelor's courses and programs. And question number three, what uh, what uh, threats for security for post-Soviet countries are, are important for international, more active international cooperation? Cyber terrorism, international terrorism, drug trafficking, pandemic of coronavirus, risk of uh, armed conflicts, and climate change. Please, esteemed uh, viewers, please vote. And at the end of our expert discussion, we will look at the results of the voting. And now I would like to ask Orhan Alikperv, uh, academician and rector of the Academy of Public Administration under the president of Azerbaijan. Please, you're welcome. Dear Andrei Markovich, thank you very much for this opportunity. I would like to welcome all colleagues. I would like to say thank you to the Academy of Public Management of Russia for this initiative. I think that if this initiative becomes a traditional one, then this will be very useful for regional development, for national development and global development. The process of, the, of managing the state development and uh, talents uh, preparation is very important. And the Academy of Public Administration under the president of Azerbaijan is uh, working in this area and is the head organization in, in scientific research and preparation of talents and information in public management. Assessment of the results of such activities is done through various means. And this means uh, qualitative and quantitative uh, indicators, uh, the number of modules, the frequency of programs. But in Azerbaijan, we also use another thing. The results, we look at the results of um, the activities, the results of uh, how the system of preparation of talents is operating, system of mobilization of talents uh, for the public management. And the basis for development of this area is was uh, set up by Gaidar Aliyev and was then developed by Ilham Aliyev. So the new technologies for public administration using the synergetic uh, complementary and compensation principles uh, that were developed uh, initially by Ilham Aliyev, the president, ensure the fact that according to international organizations, Azerbaijan is 
a regional and global leader in the area of most effective utilization of resources for sustainable inclusive development. And by the way, an indicator can also be inclusive development, since inclusive development may only happen in cases of sustainable development, and it can only be sustainable if it is inclusive. So as we know, index of inclusive development is calculated by international organizations uh, basing on 12 economic and social and environmental and uh, demographic indicators and the most and it shows in full the level and the broad uh, the width of development and uh, the international economic forum in davos is giving azerbaijan the third place among ex-Soviet countries. We are lagging behind Lit Lithuania and Estonia. And according to the data of this international organization, Azerbaijan is a country of the most effectively, the most effectively using the resources uh, to, 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 to build inclusive and sustainable development society. According to the World Bank, uh, every index uh, of uh, inclusive development uh, is uh, 3.8 uh, thousand uh, US dollars considering the parity of uh, the purchasing power parity. And this is one of the best indicators, not in, only among CIS, uh, ex-Soviet countries, but also in the global scale. I would like to notify you also that the index of inclusive development of Azerbaijan, according to the same international organizations, is higher than that of the United States, Japan, Israel, Greece, Portugal, Spain, and some other countries. Economic opportunities are much uh, are, are quite uh, uh, quite high in these countries, uh, sometimes much higher. But uh, this is because uh, in multinational Azerbaijan, according to international organizations, the social policy is very effective. The founder and uh, the leader of uh, the Davos uh, International Economic Forum Professor Schwab published last year a report on economic opportunities and social policy in 146 countries of the world. And the report shows a special drawing where the results of comparison of economic opportunities and social achievements are shown for seven countries, the United States, Germany, Denmark, Denmark Brazil, South Africa, Vietnam, and Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan is shown as an example of the most effective utilization of economic opportunities uh, to tackle social challenges and, and, and building inclusive society. And the rating of Azerbaijan in this report is better than, is higher than GDP per capita by 23 points. And this is the best indicator in the world. Number two is the Czech Republic and their indicator is plus 13. We should say that high effectiveness of the complex of innovative technologies in public management of Azerbaijan is also reflected in the process of implementation of four resolutions of the Security Council of the United Nations and also the freeing up uh, by Armenians uh, a, a land plot uh, which is owned by Azerbaijan. Now the country is um, is um, integrated uh, with the help of president of the Russian Federation Vladimir Putin the region now enjoys peace and this is the basis uh, for well-being and further development I would like to say thank you very much for this opportunity to speak today if you have any questions I will be able to answer at the end of the discussion thank you very much thank you very much Rukham Kizinovich thank you we will move on I would like to ask uh, to ask you to say a couple of Words, the Director of the Academy of Public Administration under the President of Turkmenistan, Alim Anamuradov. Please, you're welcome. Hello. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. First of all, I would like to start my speech with uh, congratulating colleagues from ex-Soviet republics, heads of uh, scientific uh, universities, educational universities, um, say I would like to wish you a happy new year and wish you successes in your professional activities. So 2021 is uh, 
important for us. We all start the year of the 30th anniversary of independence of our countries. And over this period of time, we have accumulated uh, quite significant uh, experience uh, to look at the results of uh, our independent uh, state uh, structuring and Turkmenistan has become one of uh, one of stably developing countries of the Central Asian regions and the model for public management is the basis for it and it is reflected in the constitution of the country where we declare that uh, Turkmenistan is a democratic uh, state with the um, presidential republic uh, mode of um, operations. So uh, we, through our collective work, uh, where we see the evolution of public administration across uh, the whole ex-Soviet uh, countries over the recent 30 years, and I would like to, to say thank you very much. Uh, to Ranipa um, under the president of the Russian Federation and Mr. Mao and the rector of Institute of uh, Public Service uh, uh, who initiated, uh, initiated and led and prepared the publishing of this book. And we hope that uh, we will continue our fruitful cooperation in such important areas uh, like pedagogical, scientific and research, uh, and also utilization of digital platforms and methods uh, for improvement of education processes. And I think you would all agree that this book will help us uh, in, in researching and further research of um, state building and the experience that have, has been accumulated over the recent 30 years uh, in how in how our public management system was built uh, we have some information from the media and the internet but up until today there were no no scientific work uh, that uh, that would have uh, articulated the experience of uh, state building across all ex Soviet countries. And this work will give us a very good opportunity not only to look at experience of all ex Soviet countries, but also to make uh, a comparison of uh, various uh, specificities of uh, such systems in all our countries. Dear colleagues, the efficiency of public management depends on on, on the effectiveness of the state service. And basing on this, in Turkmenistan in 2008, uh, according to personal initiative of uh, our esteemed uh, president, uh, Mr. Berte Mohamedov, uh, the Public Administration Academy was uh, founded under the president. And uh, it now takes the mission of uh, preparation and requalification of uh, public management. Uh, specialists uh, and specific methodological basis was prepared for this purpose. Our academy is quite young, but uh, despite this, we've managed to contribute a lot uh, to preparing new public servicemen. And uh, over the recent years, uh, the courses uh, uh, covered more than three and a half thousand uh, students uh, from public administration and local administration authorities. When preparing the students, we use actively inter modern information technologies. And in our academy, the skills of business communication can be improved and also the decision-making processes and how to go through crisis situations uh, and also go through courses in various uh, public management areas. Uh, according to the needs of the time, we revisit and adjust the programs for various categories of our students. And over the recent years, the Academy have accumulated uh, some experience in cooperation with international organizations. Today, we cooperate with such organizations uh, uh, in the perimeter of the United Nations, uh, like uh, the Fund for population. And we've implementing a project for improvement of the system of management in the context of, um, uh, of achieving the goals articulated in Paris. So last year, we've completed the implementation of a joint 
together with the European Union, the joint the project uh, for improvement of the potential of the public service in Turkmenistan. Uh, and the last 2020 was uh, important because according to the decree of the president of Turkmenistan, uh, significant changes were introduced into the structure of the academy and uh, into the programs for preparing talents in public administration. New models, uh, new materials were prepared for programs uh, in digital management, uh, management in education and science, uh, HR management, uh, legal instruments uh, for public administration, and so on. So these changes uh, reflect uh, the experience we've accumulated over the recent 12 years of our operations, and we are quite positive about our future development. So, dear colleagues, over the recent 30 years uh, of independence of our countries and in Turkmenistan, in many areas, a lot of changes have happened uh, in legislation, in public management, and in other areas. And this is the basis for future development and achievement of the strategic goals. According to under the leadership of the president of Turkmenistan, we we are implementing comprehensive uh, programs uh, for digital transformation, for instance, uh, and it gives a boost to social and economic development of our country. Large projects in uh, in, in the industrial complex, in fuel and power complex are happening and in some other sectors of the economy. And this aims at the well-being of the population and improvement of the industrial potential of the country and significant uh, changes. Uh, introduced by Berdi Mohamedov uh, was uh, was also considered positively by the international community and it improves our authority in the global arena uh, so Turkmenistan's uh, success will also be based on how effective our processes are and uh, how effective our systems of public management are. Important step in this area is also the shift to two-chamber structure of the national parliament. I should say that, from one hand, two-chamber system of uh, the highest legislative uh, body of the country is based on national democratic traditions. Uh, from from one, one hand, from the other hand, it reflects the international experience in this area. And this, uh, this uh, com combination of uh, traditions and reforms uh, is uh, a specificity of uh, Turkmenistan political culture. New projects and areas for development are focusing on up-to-date international experience. Uh, and. Uh, we look at uh, more integration into international community as uh, as a as a partner for the community. So, according to the initiative of uh, Turkmenistan 2020 by the General Assembly of the United Nations, uh, was um, was announced as year of uh, trust and peace. And in this context, closing my presentation, I would like to say that I hope that 2021 will really become such year, the year for peace in the whole world, and uh, no violence between countries. We hope that we will achieve trust and good relationships. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much. I hope that all these areas of cooperation you mentioned will be able to implement in the nearest future, and we really have uh, we really have something to learn from each other and how to complement our own programs uh, through the experience that have already been accumulated in various countries of uh, ex-Soviet uh, space. Uh, so now I would like to give the floor to esteemed director of the Academy of Public Management under the president of the Republic of Uzbekistan, Alhambik Murad. Adham, please, you're welcome. The floor is yours. Thank you very much, Andrei Markovic. Hello, dear friends. First of all, let me say thank you very much. Thank you very much for, for your invitation, for this opportunity to participate in this event. Dear friends, I think you already know that in our country, under the leadership of our president, uh, we are implementing the modernization upgrade of the state uh, of the state uh, offices and the system of public management. I would like to say to tell you a couple of words about this process. Uh, as our colleagues said, effective systems of uh, public management and public service 
can adapt uh, to quickly changing conditions of the current world and is the basis, our basic factors uh, for sustainable development and improvement of uh, well-being of people. Speaking about the experience of Uzbekistan, in our in the period of our independence, the system of uh, public management of our country changed a lot. And it is actively developing now, especially over the recent year. And basing on the constitutional standard, uh, saying that the nation is the only source of the state power in the country, we articulate effective and stable system in under which not uh, the public, not the nation is serving the official bodies, but the official bodies, uh, authorities uh, serve the nation. And for high quality dialogue with the nation, starting 2017, we established uh, virtual meeting room of the president of uh, the president and we have special port portal for expressing your opinion which is uh, open for everyone and basing on this strategy working in five priority areas for development of Uzbekistan the program that was articulated in 2017 by our by our president, uh, where improvement of the system of uh, public and uh, civil building is uh, articulated as a priority. And uh, then the concept for administrative reform is also very important. A number of constitutional changes uh, have also been introduced into the state sector. And step by step, we introduce modern mechanisms uh, for PPPs, public and private partnerships. So we are working for more openness uh, of operations of uh, state bodies and uh, authorities' operations. We are improving the system of electronic government, and we are also to making it uh, more available, the state services more available to the public. In December of the same year, the Agency for State Services was set up under the Justice Ministry of the Republic of Uzbekistan, which is responsible for innovative approach towards the system of uh, offering the state services. And a module for online consulting was set up uh, that uh, consists of more than 90 state organizations and uh, and bodies and offices. Uh, we are also we are also executing digitalization of state services with uh, the level of 60 percent of digitalization by the end of 2022. Another interesting initiative is implementation starting May 2018, the Government Hour, uh, which is devoted to. to hearing the information from competent uh, authorities from state uh, administration bodies in the legislative chamber of the country, which is uh, now a traditional process uh, for the highest level of, of public officials. In October 2019, we set up the Agency for Development of uh, Public Administration under the President of the Republic of Uzbekistan, which is responsible for implement implementation of the single state policy in the area of development of uh, human resources and personnel management, HR management. Though implementation of uh, these reforms and changes in the area of uh, public administration and um, talents policy of the country is impossible without highly qualified uh, state officials. The Academy of Public Administration under the President of Uzbekistan is uh, the key key office uh, for qualification, for preparation and requalification of uh, state servicemen. And together with Argos, Argos is the Agency for Development of uh, Public Services, I already said. We are working in setting up on the basis of our academy, the Center for Improvement of Qualification of uh, State uh, Civil Servicemen and the Regional Platform for Cooperation and uh, Experience Sharing with countries, uh, with adjacent countries in the area of development of the state service. The new vector of development in this sphere was also mentioned in the message from our president of Uzbekistan in December 2020. And in this message, he highlighted the importance of the HR policy, the importance of decentralizing the system of uh, public administration, rationalizing uh, public expenses, 
as well as taking into account gender-specific factors uh, in public administration. I'm absolutely sure that our experience in public administration and HR management, uh, they are linked to results of neighboring countries. In order to ensure good cooperation and uh, to get rid of negative consequences of the pandemic at a regional level and uh, find inefficient mechanisms of informing uh, authorities, we need to continue strengthening cooperation. Dear participants, I'm confident that this book, The Evolution of Public Administration in Post-Soviet Countries, was prepared in close cooperation, will give us an opportunity to use the experience we've accumulated. And during the discussion, we will learn about new practical data. We will have some actual um, tips on using the best practices, and we will find the most promising uh, ways uh, to cooperate in public administration between our countries. As exchange of experience at this a large scale discussion, platform will contribute a lot to development of the modern science. I wish every participant of this forum a very fruitful days of work. And I also would like to especially thank the Russian Academy of Public Administration, uh, RANEPA, for organizing this uh, great and massive event. And I do hope that we will continue mutually beneficial cooperation between our academies. Thank you very much. Arham Sharipovich, thank you very much. I would like to say that you talked about strengthening cooperation. We do appreciate cooperation with your academy. And I hope we can enrich each other not only in technologies of public administration, but we can also enrich um, uh, by exchanging cultures. When uh, we got students uh, during internship at our academy, we had a creativity party uh, when your students were uh, reading poems, uh, by, reciting poems by Alexander Pushkin, and our students were reciting uh, poems by your most famous poet. And I think it was a good step towards uh, deepening and strengthening cooperation. And now uh, I would like to give the floor to the Director of the Public Administration Academy and the President of Tajikistan, Abdul Khalil Gafurzada. And I think he will tell us about uh, the areas of the improvement of public administration in your republic. Last year we could talk in person uh, last year, but unfortunately now we have to talk online. Dear colleagues, Andre, we welcome everyone, we welcome all the colleagues, and congratulations to um, with New Year, and we do pray for well-being and health of all the citizens of uh, all the countries, uh, post-Soviet countries, and I hope that in 2021 we'll be able to meet in person. Last year the meeting was very fruitful. We've published this book, The Evolution of uh, Public Administration in Post-Soviet Countries, 1991-2021. This is a great result. And uh, we demonstrated sustainable cooperation, and uh, we do know that we have very uh, good uh, results in different areas. Dear colleagues, dear rectors, we urge you to continue cooperation and we invite you to visit our academy in the future. 
in 2021. We do hope it will be possible despite the pandemic, despite some other challenges. This year was rather successful for us. Our academy under the president of Tajikistan was transformed and uh, we opened uh, the new building of the academy now. It has a format of a campus. Lots of uh, colleagues participated in this grand opening. You visited our campus and uh, I hope that in 2021 we'll have lots of new more partnerships. We'll have uh, big events related to public administration, related to our state, and we invite uh, you all uh, to participate. And I think this is a great opportunity to invite everyone who is here to come to our academy. I do hope that this pandemic has been with us for too long and it should, it should go away already. This book that has been published, uh, this is a sign of very good cooperation between our countries. And on the basis of the information in this book, I, we will be able to learn more about the experiences of neighboring countries. In post-Soviet countries and the CIS, we could strengthen relations. Uh, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, we do have lots of regional organizations which have good ties. We have similar systems. We have some similar legislative systems in some cases. And there is a lot to exchange uh, experience about. The development of the sustainability of public administration is an important topic. And the initiative of our president, Mamali Rahman, uh, the development of the char policy and reforming the public administration system um, was first introduced um, in 2007, there was a decree about that. Tajikistan is a unitary and democratic state. And when we develop uh, our state, when we develop national economies, social protection of the population, uh, a lot has been done uh, about that. And uh, we had a lot of uh, research and reports about it. Before the new year, a working group was set up in order to reform the concept of public administration development. And similar to our colleagues from Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan, we can also say that we were in the transition period and uh, the legal concession and market economy uh, have proved to be working for our countries. And the reform of the public administration uh, system also had good history. We have lots of experience. And in Tajikistan, uh, we have seen a lot uh, with this regard. We had a separate state many centuries ago, and there was the government, there was the uh, there were authorities uh, which were working successfully. We have experience of the state government. We had a civil war. We had this um, terrible uh, times, but we've signed an agreement, the peace agreement, uh, on the 27th of June 1997. And since that date, on the basis of that agreement, we are developing our state in, with, with regard to many, many areas. And the year 2020 was a successful one for us. We had parliamentary elections. We had presidential elections. And in the future, we'll see 
continued flourishing and sustainable development of the economy in the Republic of Tajikistan. A lot has been done in many areas in 2020 for Tajikistan. Our years of independence of the Republic uh, were the years when we were during the transition uh, period around 6,000 automobile uh, roads have been constructed uh, during that period. Energy security is something that we worked a lot uh, on. And we know that a lot of developed uh, countries, European countries, uh, as a result of pandemic, are uh, facing challenging situations. But Tajikistan is a developing country. Uh, we didn't have the quarantine uh, during the pandemic. Uh, we did have the pandemic, but the situation was not too uh, difficult here. And for just two months later than other countries of the world, we entered the pandemic. And right now, we see the diminishing of the number of COVID cases. To sum up, I'd like to thank the organizers of this event one more time. And I hope that we will continue having a very good relations with all of you. Some of the youth from our country are having a lot of uh, communications with our neighbors. Uh, they use different means of communications, and they will use experience from our brothers and sisters. And we will continue developing our public administration and this state uh, structure. We had really very fruitful cooperation. We uh, thank our colleagues from Belarus, Kazakhstan, from Russia. We have uh, mutual projects helping our students to enter universities in neighboring countries. There is also a bachelor exchange country. We had a meeting with uh, the Uzbekistan embassy. We received a letter from the Uzbekistan Academy, our brother country, our neighbors. And I do hope that we will stay in touch and we will do everything we can uh, to strengthen our relations. And I hope that our friends from Azerbaijan, Baku, and other countries will start cooperation with them. In Turkmenistan, oh, we will have more pro mutual projects. We invite everyone to visit Tajikistan to become our partners. And once again, thank you to RANEPA. I'd like to thank every organizer of this event, which was really a success. And I hope to see cooperation to continue in the future. Andrei Markovic, thank you very much. Abdul Khalid, uh, thank you very much. And now I invite Arsen Bagdasarovic Lokan uh, to take the floor. He is the head of the Academy of Public Administration of Armenia. I've known him for a very long time and very happy to see you, um, although it's online. Dear colleagues, dear Andrei. The participants of the GAIDAR forum, we see the crisis of ideas related to the theoretical issues on public administration. We have experience, and it's good that if we could review and um, study the experience of other countries in public administration. This will uh, be furthering the education and science. The experience that we have in post-Soviet countries all is based on the mutual model uh, that existed before. 
But after the collapse of the Soviet Union, each country is building its own model, and they have differences. In Armenia, during the first years of independence, there were reforms to create democratic institutions. Uh, reforms for starting a multi-party political system. Public Administration Academy of Armenia during all its years of existence have be, has been playing an important role in training and retraining public officials in creating new educational programs. This academy uh, was opened in 1994, and it um, trained thousands of functionaries who work for the state, who work for corporates, uh, corporations, who are doctors of science. In 1994, uh, the mission of the academy was very clearly formulated. Uh, the mission was to prepare good uh, functionaries, good specialists to work uh, for the state, for municipalities, and for the government. Academy has been developed uh, very rapidly. We develop and introduce innovate, innovation methods. We implement mutual educational programs. We have dual diploma systems with our partners. We have a MA uh, program. We actively use remote studying. We do a lot for digitalization of education. We perform research uh, to identify needs uh, in training public administration specialists. We have lots of programs of retraining public officials uh, using the remote technologies. We develop new geographical ties uh, with our partners. We work with new regions and universities. We cooperate with Russian universities and academies, uh, universities of Belarus, Moldova, uh, Georgia, Lithuania, Latvia, France, Germany, China, Canada, Lebanon, Syria, and so on. We've created a system of humanitarian research with three laboratories and research centers. We have a research center for managing uh, scientific studies. We have the center of regional studies and the laboratory for psychology of human activity. In 2003, a scientific journal uh, was launched, and we have lots of other projects. The Academy is a member of many international scientific organizations. We have studying materials, we have special programs uh, which are proprietary. Uh, they help us to prepare specialists which are, who are very experienced and have lots of uh, areas of expertise. This will be the foundation for very good career for our alumni, alumni in uh, different areas of life, including business and public administration. I tried to briefly overview the situation in our academy. And now I wish everyone to live in peace and I wish everyone to be healthy. Thank you very much for your attention. Arsen Bagdasarovich, thank you very much. Um, moderate is usually the most difficult person. But I do have to remind you that we are outside of our time limits. Please uh, finish your presentation in four minutes, as we've agreed um, in advance. And now I give the floor to Valery Borodena, who is the first vice rector for the Academy of Public Administration under the president of Belarus. Yes, I've seen you for the last time one year ago. I agree. Uh, it's a pity that we can't meet in person. Dear colleagues, I'm very happy to welcome you at this session. 
Uh, that's great that we can see each other uh, at the Gaidar Forum and we have very important and wide and topical agenda that we uh, discussed at this forum. And these issues that we discuss are important for Belarus. The topic of this session, uh, our book, is a fundamental uh, report which was very important. A lot of people participating in compiling it. It's really a very substantial research. It has some theoretical data and it has practical information too. And I think that we see that uh, this topic is very important for all the countries. Every country is looking for its own way and we live in the world of constant changing. There are new requirements for efficiency of public administration. Of course, everyone had to deal with COVID. It's something absolutely extraordinary and it put a lot of stress on all our public administration systems. In Belarus, we are also improving our public administration system. We have a new law on public administration in the new uh, version of it. And uh, our academy has close relations towards this law because the people who worked on compiling this book, they worked on the new version of the law as well. And I think that this law actually specified similar topics, uh, similar to what you can find in the book. I would like to wish everyone, every participant of the Gaidar Forum a very successful days, and I wish you all to be healthy. I wish you to have lots of new interesting projects and initiatives. We are always um, open for cooperation. We would like to invite you to participate in projects of our Academy. On the 29th of January, we will celebrate the 30 years anniversary. We will hold our conference. And if you have something to say, if you want to participate, we will uh, welcome you. I have, uh, I'm not absolutely sure everything will be as planned, but we will definitely hold the conference. And another comment. I'd like to thank every participant, uh, those who worked on this book. For me, the publishing of this book, it's a symbol of our cooperation. Forty years ago, when I was at school, it was not uh, thinkable that we won't live in one big uh, country anymore. Thank you very much for invitation. We will definitely participate in your conference. I do hope we will see each other very soon within that conference. And now I'd like to give the floor to uh, uh, Mr. Balmundinov, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you will participate uh, together with your colleague. But please stay within the time limits. We uh, have, we are very sorry about the situation with Almazbek Ak Mataliev, uh, but I spoke with him today uh, through email. His health is fine. Dear rectors, dear vice rectors, everyone who is part of the CIS, I welcome you on behalf of Almazbek Ahmad Aliyev, uh, the rector of the Academy of Public Administration under the president of Kyrgyzstan. Now we have to work remotely. And in these conditions, we show that we know how to cooperate. We cooperate remotely and we have a possibility to show our strengths and weaknesses. We can exchange experiences. And I hope that every country will continue developing the economy. Now this challenging situation is faced by everyone. And after the end of it, we will uh, reach the next level of development. The Academy of Public Administration of uh, the Kyrgyz Republic is preparing people of the new caliber. 
we've changed our materials, changed our educational programs, and now they are made in such a way that every specialist uh, who finishes our academy will get digital skills. Since 2020, the ex-president of the Kyrgyz Republic uh, articulated this year as the year for development of the regions, digitalization of the country, and support of the youth. So supporting the youth, we are training them, showing different skills for them to be able to work in various areas of uh, state and municipal service and show their professionalism. And for this, we are creating conditions in a way that uh, taking a job, every one of them gets uh, specific uh, improvement of qualification courses within the academy. And we think that the academy is uh, offering a platform when they come to us and when they get the knowledge, uh, it also they also get the skills and specific competences. And as you see, our country has gone through a specific period. On the 10th of December, we had uh, the presidential election campaign. I think that the election campaign was quite successful. Experts showed uh, the level of uh, the arrangement of the event. And we hope that the new president, uh, the newly elected president for our country with his new program, with his new ideas, recommendations, and proposals, and plan for development of our country, we think that we will reach a level where our country shows uh, very good results uh, in any rating. That's why I wish that this platform that creates, uh, that is created by the Academy of uh, public administration of the Russian Federation will allow us to share experience and we hope that in the future we will meet you face to face, not online, uh, and we will see each other and talk to each other. So I am very thankful to Andrei Markovich for this opportunity to speak today. I want every one of you to see the prospects of uh, their strategies and the prospects of development of our academies in joint cooperation. I hope I want every one of us to to help each other and to be able to promote our academies and move forward and to continue cooperation on a different level. So traditionally, I mean, when we see each other, when we can shake hands, so wish you successes, so stay healthy, and we hope to continue cooperate with all of you. So wish you successes. Thank you very much. I would like to ask uh, uh, Ms. Senikova to say a couple of words. She is the leader of the School for Business, Arts and Technologies in Latvia. Please, please, you're welcome. We're happy to see you. Hello. Hello, dear colleagues. Uh, hello, dear friends. Uh, let's put it like this. I'm happy to be part of this discussion today and the project uh, for the project uh, for drafting the book. When we were asked to participate, well, though we're not a university for public administration, but for us it was also a very interesting project indeed. So speaking about Latvia, Latvia is a country with small open economy. That's why its economic development is dependent on the global trends and economic crisis and COVID uh, impact Latvia very much. We are working in the lockdown period now. For us, it is the second lockdown. The first one happened in spring. Uh, the emergency was announced across the country. Nevertheless, all structures and bodies of the state uh, administration, public administration, are operating in remote mode. And Zoom, for us, is now an integral part of our operations. If we are speaking about the reform of uh, public management in Latvia, the basis is the basis is the whole legislative base of the first Latvian Republic of uh, 1918 that, that was uh, restored uh, in 1991. And in 1995, uh, the systemic process uh, started uh, for state reforms and the comprehensive reform for state management. And the basis for it was uh, seven main principles. Uh, among those are the supremacy of law, the openness, uh, just, and 
respect uh, towards uh, all the citizens and some other some other principles. So speaking about uh, the three indices uh, that were articulated for voting, the index uh, for ease of business and human development and competitiveness, Latvia uh, takes quite good positions. Uh, the 19th position from the point of view of ease of doing business, number 39 for the index of human development. And this allowed, uh, allowed us to be part of a uh, list of countries with very high level of uh, personal development and now we're number 41 in competitiveness index. Yes, of course, we have uh, much work to do and we are lagging behind a bit our neighboring countries, Estonia and Lithuania. But anyway, the process of uh, state reforms uh, is underway. It moves forward and now we are executing the reform of uh, for territories uh, and administrative um, processes, we try to cut the number of municipalities and to balance the financing of the municipalities. We're also executing the reforms for healthcare and education. So the process of reforms is still underway. And apart from that, the key points in state reforms are constant analysis and efficiency of uh, processes of management, uh, reducing the red tape bureaucracy and administrative time for responding and tackling issues. So when when people is the key human-centered approach towards uh, state management is a priority for us, centralization of all processes of uh, state management, public management, and digital transformation of all areas of our operations uh, related to the state management. As I already said, we are happy to cooperate. We're open for cooperation. All processes uh, go in line with the requirements uh, and uh, the standards of the European Union. We are analyzed by OECD, but nevertheless, we look not only to the west, but to the east. We do not forget where we're coming from, who our neighbors are, and we're ready to share experience. We're ready to share our experience and exchange experience. We are happy to learn from you and offer our experience, and we are happy to see you both online and offline and we'll be happy to visit you and we invite you to visit us. Now I'm speaking to you from Yurmala and I'm working from home. That's why we will be happy to see you in our country as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Aurel Simbatyanu, Pro-Rector of the Academy of Public Administration of the Republic of Moldova, is the last to speak and then we will go to the conclusions. Well, I do not have time to speak about the results of the voting, we will send it to you, we will send the comments. Unfortunately, we're a bit behind our agenda. Aurel, please, you're welcome. Thank you very much, Andrei Markovic, esteemed colleagues and participants of the forum. In Moldova today, it is a very warm and sunny day, not a winter day, and that's why I am sending you very good mood from Moldova. So, understanding we're pressed of time, I would like to touch upon a couple of points according to the agenda of our session. So, general and specific points in public management system of our countries. First of all, I would like to stress the importance of publishing the book on public management of the post-Soviet countries. Through this project, we have informed each other about uh, the work that we've done over the 30 years and uh, about the, what we've achieved in public management and the key challenges and problems uh, because they still exist uh, in our republic uh, and in other countries. And we've uh, laid the basis uh, for further events related to 30th anniversary of uh, independence of our countries. Of course, among our countries, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, common things, and other colleagues have already mentioned that. First of all, I'm speaking about the selection of the democratic model for public management based on principles of uh, separating and cooperation of branches of uh, power, political pluralism, supremacy of law, and uh, market relations. 
uh, and also tackling tackling the problems uh, of uh, the civil society in all its uh, formats. Of course, there are some specificities uh, in all countries, and this is very good, I think, because uh, the diversity in manifestation of the principles I mentioned is a very good catalyst, driver of, uh, of uh, public development in general society development and public management development. As for the, the Republic of Moldova, I should say that uh, the evolution of state uh, management over the period of time, this period of time, uh, was uh, was uh, underway with the focus on close cooperation with the European offices. In July 1995, uh, Moldova became member of the Council of Europe, and that uh, ensured the faster democratization of the public life. In May 1996, the Republic of Moldova signed the European Charter of the local self-management, and that led to rethinking and revisiting the role of uh, local authorities in the national system of public management. We started focusing on decentralization and the local autonomy. So in February 2005, the action plan was signed uh, between the Republic of Moldova and the European Union, and a number of measures were taken for improvement of uh, the state management. And in July 2014, the agreement on the association on association of the Republic of Moldova with the European Union was signed. And this is a unique document. It contains a, a part, a section devoted to reform of public management, uh, implying specific measures and steps uh, to be made in public administration especially. I'm not going to delve into details now since we're pressed of time. But I would like to inform you esteemed colleagues uh, and all participants of the forum on the following. Its uh, contribution into evolution of national systems of uh, public management is also done by the Academy of Public Administration of Moldova. In May this year, we will celebrate 28th uh, anniversary from the day of um, opening the institution. Of course, uh, its specific functions, I mean, preparation of uh, management specialists, uh, two-year programs uh, for master's, uh, master's degree and scientific research in public management and administration and development of recommendations uh, in, in various areas of uh, managerial activities. A large share is taken by courses of um, continuous professional development uh, for state uh, officials of various levels, both uh, central and local level of administration. And of course, we are very much concerned and serious about the uh, methodological support to to various uh, authorities. We publish uh, documents and guides, uh, guidelines for various levels of administration. So through the efforts of central and local authorities with active participation of the academy, the system of state administration of the Republic of Moldova is being reformed uh, with a trend for modernization. Dear colleagues, we are ready to cooperate uh, on mutually beneficial conditions with all specific academies of the countries, ex-Soviet countries, in all areas of our competences, both in preparation of talents and specialists and in research activities, and also in continuous uh, trainings uh, for state uh, officials. So we will be happy to cooperate with you. Thank you very much. Harold Dmitrievich, uh, thank you very much. Uh, esteemed colleagues, I would like to say thank you Thank you very much for your participation in our today's discussion. Rephrasing what Mayakovsky said, uh, I, I praise the discussion that we are having today, but uh, I praise it more, the discussions that we will have in the future. We will, of course, uh, share our opinion on development of uh, public administration uh, systems without such uh, strict agenda, I think, in the future, definitely. Congratulations to the publishing of this book. Wish you health. Uh, please stay safe. Uh, see you next time in our academy and in all our partner academies as well. We'll be happy to see you again. Thank you very much and wish you the best.